Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on a nurse's intuition. And I want to talk about this because recently, actually it's kind of, it's happened to me a few times since being a nurse, but recently I had an instant where um, I was taking care of this patient and I just had this like gut feeling that something was going to happen to this patient. Like something was, n you know, even though nothing was like, you know, wrong at the moment, I just had like this you know, kind of weird gut feeling. And you know, the patient ended up being fine on my shift, but the next shift I came in and found out that this patient actually got transferred to ICU and eventually got transferred out of the hospital because this patient was so sick. And I wanna talk about nurse's intuition because it's so important that so important that you follow your nurse's intuition. And it's kind of a hard thing to explain, but basically what I mean is sometimes when you're working as a nurse, you're gonna just all of a sudden get this weird feeling or you're gonna see something and you're gonna go, hmm, something's not right. I cannot pinpoint it. I don't know exactly what's wrong, but something's not right. I have this bad feeling. And I wanna say, if you get that while you're working, even as a student, whenever you get that feeling, follow your nurse's intuition. Something is telling you when the little hairs on the back of your neck are sticking up, something's telling you that something's not right. And you know, sometimes you can't pinpoint it. A lot of times I can't pinpoint it. I just all of a sudden get this like bad feeling that something is wrong. So if you, if you get that feeling, what, what, what do we do about it? Well, when I get that feeling, of course, your number one priority is your patient, assessing your patient. So the easiest thing is take a set of vital signs, re-listen to their heart and lungs, um, you know, re-look back at their medications, their labs, like, is, could something be causing this? And go and just, you know, assess your patient. And when all else fails, even if you have no rhyme or reason for it, go tell the doctor, say, I don't know what's really going on. These are the val lab values I have. These are the vital signs. This is what the patient's doing right now. But something is just not right with this patient. You know, maybe they earlier were really chatty and all of a sudden they are solemn and not speaking as much. Or another um, example that this actually happened to me recently was this patient had an abdominal surgery and they were being monitored and uh, all of a sudden just had an increased amount of pressure and was tachycardic, but the pressure was in the um, abdomen and this patient had been having pain, so it really looked like, like pain, you know, in abdominal surgical pain. And um, they were tachypnic and tachycardic, which could mean pain. Well, later on in, that, in the evening, this patient's um, heart rate started spiking up to 160, 170 and coming back down within a few seconds. Something was just not right. And so, you know, other vital signs were stable other than the tachycardia. So um, we made a call to the uh, doctor and we got some labs and turned out that this patient was having an active MI. And you know, the, all the symptoms did not present to be an MI, but just that, that weird feeling of like, what is going on, turned out to be this patient was having an MI. So, just it goes to say, trust your nurse's intuition, never doubt your nurse's intuition. If you feel something's not right, and if you can't pinpoint it, still say something, and still chart that you say that you said something. Because even if you go to the doctor and, and say, you know, hey, something's just not right, this is what the patient's doing, and something's just not sitting well with me, and you chart that you talk to the doctor about it, and let's say the doctor says, um, no, I don't wanna do anything about it right now, and then hours go down the road, and then something goes really wrong, well, then you can at least show that you were one step ahead of the game and notify the doctor before that incident happens. So chart, 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 chart. I am so big on charting, especially when it comes to speaking to doctors. That's a whole nother topic. But in other words, trust your nurse's intuition. Don't doubt yourself and speak up when something is not setting right with you. Anyways, leave some comments in the comments below uh, if you ever had an instant with your nurse's intuition sticking out and you know something jumping out at you leave it in the comments below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye